Welcome to part 3 series of Places to Eat in Honolulu, Hawaii. First place we're going to is part of a donut shop located in Kahala. Donuts here is about $3 a piece and you just mark whatever you want and it's made fresh to order. If you have kids, I recommend coming here because you get to watch them making it and it's pretty cool. I love watching them make the s'mores due to the little fire action at the end. Everything is great here, the atmosphere, the customer service, just look at the presentation of the box and this is the donuts that we got. If you're ever craving Thai food, I recommend you going to Ole's Thai and Lao Cuisine. Just look at their beautiful decorations and I love their outdoor seating, it reminds me of Thailand or Vietnam. The pricing here is pretty reasonable and there's vegan options as well. I would recommend making reservations. I really enjoy their Thai tea here and you can't eat Thai without Thai tea. We start off with the papaya salad. We did the Lao style I believe. A dish I would highly recommend is their wings. It was very crispy on the outside and very juicy on the inside and the dipping sauce was really good. I always tend to lean towards yellow curry when I eat Thai food and I really enjoy this place for their curry. A dish that I shared with my mom was Pad Thai and it was way too much food. I wish I had made room for dessert. Yeah. Located in Pearl City, there's a place called Poke on the Run. What they serve here is Hawaiian food and poke. I come here for one thing only, and it's the spicy ahi and kamikaze nachos on crispy wonton chips. It would take two people to finish this, and it costs around $30. My cousin just arrived from Portland, so we went to Waikiki Beach. Most locals don't come down here because it's really crowded, but I tend to come here a lot because of the good food. After walking on the beach, we stopped by Island Vintage Shave Ice. Their most popular flavor is Heavenly Lily Koi, and it's really good. It's half Lily Koi, half strawberry with fresh mochi and popping boba. As seen before, I'm back at Tropical Tribe to get their Tropical Tribe bowl. Later for dinner, we went to Ire, it's a Korean restaurant. Here is some of their banchans. Here is meat jeon, it's a Hawaiian dish of Korean region. It is a thinly sliced beef dipped in egg batter and it's fried. Every time I'm home, I tend to get it because it's very hard to find in California. I only had one spot so far. Here is the tteokbokki with cheese. I have to say this is my second favorite dish here. Here is the seafood chai pancakes. I would pass on this dish due to other places does it better. This is perilla noodles. It was pretty good. It was my first time having it. I love mandu, so fried mandu here. I recommend getting it. This is Ayurde's chicken. It's very saucy and it's a popular dish here. Everyone in my family seemed to enjoy it and we had a good time here. On another day, we went to the ball guy up in Kahuku. I got the pan fried ahi and kalbi. Amy got the furukake salmon and kalbi. Kathy got the pan fried ahi with garlic shrimp. 
This place got popular due to Netflix. I thought their garlic shrimp was okay. Their pan fried ahi is what they're known for, but I think I prefer fresh ahi. I say the furikake salmon was pretty good. I would get this one again. And also their kalbi was really good. Right across is County Eatery and Juicery. We came here looking for their lily koi panna cotta, but they didn't have, so I end up with just the green juice. We end up at Sunset Beach due to we're in the North Shore, just to get a little tan due to the waves are pretty huge. Afterwards, we went to Banzai Boat to get a Sayu Boat to share. On our drive back, we went to Green World Coffee Farm. It is the first coffee farm on Oahu, making it a tourist spot. This is my first time trying a strawberry guava creamsicle from Pop Culture, and I really liked it. Kathy and Amy got a drink, Kathy got the macadamia ice latte, and Amy got the matcha latte. I also got a lily cobar, but I think other place does it better. Later on the day, we went to Waikiki Beach again, just to relax. Later that night, we went to Genki Sushi, and you order on an iPad, and then it comes on a conveyor belt. The pricing here is really cheap, and the fish quality is really good for cheap sushi. Some of my favorites is the tuna bomb, the spicy ahi in Inari, also like the spicy dynamite, there's also the big muscle that I forgot to record. I love the salmon and cream cheese as mentioned before. This is the damage we done and it costs around $50 for two people. Next day we went to the beach in Kailua but it was gloomy so we went to tomorrow's for poke. This is from Australia, but I'm in love with this drink. Tomorrow is a liquor store, but it also serves poke, and it's fresh and summer fruit. We end up getting their tomorrow special and spicy ahi, and the edamame was so good. I recommend getting it. We head up to the beach where we found it was sunny again. I just love this spot due to the water is always calm and the water is very clear and it's less crowded than other beaches. A fun fact is the house on the left is Obama's. Later that night, we went to a bar in Chinatown called The Lays Down. I would recommend coming here, but make reservations way in advance due to it's new and it's very popular. Here are some of the drinks we got. We ended up getting around two to three drinks each, so I couldn't keep track and I couldn't record everything. As you can see, the details on the ice, it's made to perfection. I did manage to keep track of all the food. This is the Luau Bao Buns and it comes with chili pepper water. I really enjoyed that. Here is the hash brown with chorizo, smoked taco, and mayo. It was pretty good. I would recommend getting it as well. This is the uni toast with yuzu maple and umami butter. It surprised everyone on how good it was. We also got the baked fat bastard oysters and it was really good as well. Next to the uni toast, the patty melt was second best. It's an age prime with caramelized onion. This is the chicharron, but it's nothing special. Another dish we end up sharing is the prime beef tataki. I just can't get over the ice cubes here. 
last dish we end up sharing is the bacon jam it comes with a little nice presentation and then you rub it on the bread I like that they give you candy with the bill since we had such a great night we didn't want to end it so we went to Pite and Jigger located at Moana Hotel We end up getting about one drink each and we shared some fried pickles and they're known for their burgers so we end up sharing burgers as well. And that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Until the next.